We good to go? It feels like the perfect night for SwiftCast, a Taylor Swift podcast by the fans for the fans. Hi everyone, this is Belle, Ashley, and Nate, bringing you a special edition SwiftCast all about the 2013 VMAs that literally just happened. Yay, special episodes! Woohoo! I would say it was the best award show of all time, but <laughs> it really actually wasn't. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. That's pretty accurate. I enjoyed I know. it. I liked. It's I liked like the most philosophical of it, I guess. truth of the VMAs. So we have no format, you guys, you listeners. We are just gonna free for all. We are gonna have a opinionated fired up discussion about the things that just transpired on national TV from New York City. Hi. I'm a little let's riled. Get this. <laughs> let's get into this. Let's 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 get the shovels and start digging. I think first off, we should probably uh, say congratulations to Taylor for Congratulations. Yay! Yay! She won female video of the year. That's pretty awesome. Congrats! We heart you. We voted our butts off for you. She should win female of the century. Female, female. Of she should just ever. win female. Period. Yeah. Just female. Yep. yep. <laughs> Taylor, you win for females everywhere, everything. I just want to say, I never realized how short Bruno Mars was oh, you until <laughs> I saw him standing next to Taylor. Like I knew he was short, but when I saw him next to Taylor, I was just like, "Oh my god, he's a midget." <laughs> Yeah, he's like he's, think, he's uh vertically challenged. She was in like probably like four inch heels though too. To be fair, so she was like towering. True, man. Man, if she were at Disney, she would be the Tower of Terror. Oh, but she's not terrifying. She's not terrifying. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I, I thought I was gonna make a great joke, and then Except I realized it really didn't work as well. It would, it, would, it would work better if she was like a really tall Cruella de Vil or something. <laughs> but yeah, just it, it didn't. I tried. I made an effort, and it just didn't quite happen for me. Sorry, but we love her. Um, yeah, so she her award was awesome. I'm so happy that she won her award. A little bit sad that she didn't win her second award, but you know you can't fault us for that. We're Swifties. We love her. Of course, we're gonna be a little bit sad faced. Right. Not to say that I don't love Justin Timberlake and that I'm not happy for him because I am, and he's cool. We're gonna let him finish. Just, <laughs> we're gonna let him finish. We, we will let him finish. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just a little bit sad facey over, over Taylor's loss because, yeah. you know, we all worked really hard to vote for her and, you know, but, you know, we, we don't want to be spoil sports. So congrats, Justin. Thumbs up. How epic was the NSYNC performance? He put on a really good performance, that entire thing, including he, NSYNC. Yeah, he performed he, for like 20 straight minutes. Yeah, it was he nuts. He got skills. It was, it was like a mini concert within the VMAs. It was awesome. Yeah, that boy, that boy got skills. I will admit that up front. All I want is an NSYNC reunion tour. <laughs> they just joined Twitter, so I feel like it's possible. They only have two tweets, but they already have 165,000 followers. Mm. Wow. See, back when the days of like NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, when they were like the hot boy bands of, of, of life, I was like mourning the death of Kurt Cobain and trying to investigate, you know, and uh, the fact that it was really a murder and everything. So I missed the boy band, uh, the, the typical girl boy band um, craze, I guess. So I didn't, I actually know a lot more of JT's music, like as a solo artist than I do of NSYNC's, but he did amazing tonight. I only saw NSYNC once live, which was on their very last tour, and I've been really sad ever since. <laughs> That's been about, like, 11 Aww. years. Wow. Don't be sad. So there was that performance tonight, which was amazing. Uh, there was another performance that was a little strange. There were Anybody have any... two performances that were very strange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to say, I'm not just being, like, biased towards Taylor. And I totally think that everybody has the right to like and support whatever artist that they like. So please don't take offense to what I'm about to say, but I was severely confused and disturbed by Lady Gaga and Miley's performances. Um, I didn't understand it, it. To me, it's like if you're watching those, like you know, when you watch a movie from like in a different language, and there's all these subtitles, but the subtitles don't even like match the mouths of the people talking at all, and you have no idea. Like it, it just throws you off even more if there, even if there weren't subtitles, and you could try to like at least guess. 
I feel like that wasn't what watching that performance was like. It was watching a really badly subtitled movie, and I had, I just didn't understand anything going on. And there's also the fact that both of them thought it was a good idea to basically be naked on stage. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm surprised oh, you let you, that roll. Oh, you're human? You have, you have human body parts? Good to know. I mean, thank you for clarifying the fact that you're not, in fact, like an alien from outer space or something. That you are actually a human being with human being body parts. I'm glad that, like, that was clarified for me because I was definitely confused before. But now uh, all my confusion is cleared up. If Taylor had performed, she would have been probably, like, the only female that performed with full clothing on. Seriously. That just totally reminds me of, like, when everybody was, like, um, making comments about her, her outfit for I Knew You Were Trouble for on, on tour. And she was listening to oh, this, right. talking about this in an interview, and she just goes, I don't even know what they're talking about. I have more clothes on than anybody else here. <laughs> <laughs> People just try to find ways to criticize Taylor. I don't know. That's, 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 that's another thing that we're about to get to. <laughs> Let's find a way to pick on Taylor. Now, everybody is completely up on arms because the camera caught her in a moment of saying, shut the F up. Mm. Now... All the people that are going to absolutely take the time to attack her for this and, you know, call her a bad role model and how dare you say that and pick on her for the, for the made up reasons why she said it because we were not there. We don't know. Cameras are deceiving. Like, we do not know why she said that. Okay. And frankly, like, first of all, the people that are going to pick on her for that are the same people that would probably cheer if someone said that to her. Oh, absolutely. So there's uh, the first point of irritation with this situation. The second point is good for her for like showing a little sass and personality. Like she is 23. She puts up with a lot of crap from a lot of people. She has a right to be sassy. I love what she said when she came up to accept her award. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Then she said, what did she say, guys? Thank you to the person who inspired the song, and you know exactly who you are. <laughs> and again, I say the people that are going to pick on her for doing that are the same people that would cheer if the person they liked did that to her. So, you know, I think, like, from her perspective, if people are going to be asking, why is she being more sassy, and why would she say that, and why is she, like, doing these things? Well, I think it's to the point, like, where when you were in, you know, shoes like Taylor's, she could hiccup and somebody would have something to say about it. So I think the choice is try not to say anything that could be misconstrued and be extremely frustrated when it is misconstrued. Or just be yourself and everybody else can just sit down and deal with it. I think that... Sounds like the more fun option. I'm honestly really proud of her, like, for so She's many fine. reasons. I am insanely proud of her. And when she does this stuff like this to me... It's like, I know there are going to be certain people that are going to be like, oh, she's a role model and she shouldn't do that. I feel the exact opposite. To me, the well, fact that she is being more and more herself is the reason why she is an amazing role model. She's not going out doing things obnoxiously. She's not begging for attention. But she is, you know, coming, coming out to the world every single day and saying, this is who I am. And that takes, I don't think people realize how much, like, strength and bravery that takes in the face of the stuff that she has to face every day like it takes a lot to just kind of laugh it off and mm -hmm. make jokes and decide to be yourself and decide to be snarky when you want to be snarky because that's her personality she's a funny person you know ed, ed sheeran always says she has the driest sense of humor i know she's like british i mean anyone who says that taylor isn't a good role model is is clearly not in their right mind because Taylor had the 2020 interview not that long ago. I mean, that was um, last year, um, and she was, you know, she was in, had been saying about basically addressing the other artists out there that, uh, you know, do some of the more risque things that they do. They said, you know, it's really easy to to say that um, that you know you're in charge of your kids, you uh, you raise your kids, but uh, she said something to the effect of that's not the truth of it. I mean, she said to quote Taylor, I think she said. Um, uh, I wake up uh, in the morning thinking about a million different people. So, I mean, and she's still like that, too. I mean, to catch her in an off-camera moment where she says something personal to Selena, I mean, is really kind of a very judgmental and, you know, uh, very narrow-minded scope of, you know, who Taylor actually is. So, I mean, if you really think about it, that's kind of like the perfect amalgam example of the way that people, the, the big mistakes that people are constantly making with judging others to begin with. Because you see... 
like 0.01% of something and decide that's who that person is. Even if, you know, not only do you see 0.01% of who they are, but you're probably seeing 0.01 of the story to begin with. That individual story, you know what I mean? Right. Can I just um? Can I just take one moment? Taylor just tweeted, "I love you guys so much." Aww. Oh, thank you, Taylor. We love thank you, you Taylor. too, Taylor. We love you too. So, with that all being said, I mean, can we just like take a moment to uh, kind of appreciate what Taylor was wearing tonight? I mean, oh my god! How about you? I saw <laughs> I that dress. I think we can all appreciate the dress. <laughs> I was on Skype with Ashley, and I was flipping out, and she can attest to that. First she body rolls, <laughs> then she wears she that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she is on a, you gotta get you guys, she is on a roll. She is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> get it. No, but seriously, that outfit was perfect. Seriously. And her hairstyle, um, it was really similar the to the hairstyle that she had in the meme video. Right. Yeah, it was really, really cute. I, I saw my entire Twitter timeline freaking me out. Oh my god, the girls are back! <laughs> she literally showed up like 30 seconds before the show started. What other award show was that where she, she did wear her hair like that before? I don't remember. She wore like a white, well, like a silvery dress. No. She's cute as a button. Anyway, yeah, definitely. And she matched Selena's dress too. They had like the same navy, uh, navy color. One person that has an opinion tonight also is Grumpy Cat. Grumpy cat. <laughs> he tweeted. Oh, he tweeted to Ed Sheeran. He said, "Tell Taylor I'm gonna let her finish, but Meredith is basic, and I'm the best cat of all time." <laughs> oh <laughs> snap! <laughs> oh snap, Grumpy cat. That's Meredith you're messing with. Oh, oh, you you're, you're about to. There's gonna, there's gonna be some beep going down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just you, you opened up a whole can of whoop ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just a you know, whole case of it, man. Oh, you don't, you know, you don't go there. But them are fighting words. It's kind of cool. Um, Austin also won an award tonight. Austin he Mahone. did. Austin Mahone did. Team won. Red Tour. Yahoo! Ooh. I am, guys. I'm a sad panda. Why is that? Ed didn't win his award. Ed Unfortunately, Sheeran. no. That video is so good. One of the first time I saw that, I laughed so hard at that video. I had to watch. I watched that video like ten times, probably. Ed is such an incredibly talented artist, and I'm really, really glad that, like, I really feel like the Red Tour has given, you know, especially, like, us Americans, a really, a very much broader look at his talent and his abilities. And, I mean, he's sold out two Madison Square Garden shows just now. Like, he he is coming into his own musically, and I, it's, I'm you know, it's one of those things where, like, I barely knew who he was before Taylor brought him on tour. Like, I'd heard his name. You know, but he was just kind of like, oh, I've heard that name before, artist. And now he's an artist that I listen to, like, and feel very personal about his music. And, like, he is definitely somebody that the Red Tour has benefited immensely in exposing him to people. But as far as his talent, he already had that down. Um, I will never forget the opening night in Omaha when he was so nervous and he, like, literally, tr he jumped up on a speaker and literally fell and, like, somersaulted oh, down. Right. <laughs> and just like it took the biggest biff I have ever seen and then just popped right up like a champ and just kept on going. And I was just like, You go, little dude. I was gonna say, You go Ed Sheeran. You go Ed Sheeran. Four for you, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Yeah, he's just amazing, though. He's so entertaining. And, like, his personality is just so hilarious. He's got the best sense of humor, and he's so cute and, like, innocent and funny. And I just, I love that guy. And I really wanted to see him win tonight. I wanted to see Taylor present him with his award. I know, that would have been so cute. As soon as they said that was the category she was presenting, I assumed that they had her present that because he was winning. I know! I was like, I saw the same thing. I'm like, yes! I can't wait for this awesome swearing moment! And I was so excited. And then he didn't win, and I was just, I just stood there, like, with a look of, like, paralyzed horror on my face, and I was just like, no! <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, Ed seems like somebody who doesn't really get phased by stuff like that. Yeah. I know. I'm probably more upset than he is. <laughs> I think you are. I probably am. I have a lot of feelings, remember? I do still want to hear Taylor and Ed rapping. Yes, please. Seriously. Pretty, pretty, pretty. so awesome. I want to hear them rap something really funny, too. I want to hear them rap, like, the craziest song. I want them to rap, like, Ice Ice Baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> Any other favorite moments that you guys had? 
Well, I was a little uh, con- confused about Ed and uh, Ellie Golding holding hands until I saw this tweet from Ellie about how uh, she goes, I love that holding hands with my friend means we're an item. Uh, in that case, I am in many relationships. Love her, not a hater. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, if you really think about it, people overanalyze everything at these shows. They really do. I mean, the celebrities are just sitting there and the cameras are just on them, scrutinizing them. Like, I mean, what if you, like, you had to, like, itch your side? Like, what would that mean? Like, if a celebrity itched their side, would they be like, oh, they're dying of rashes! Or, you know? <laughs> I just wonder how ridiculous the whole situation really is. I mean, I I definitely had, like, I felt it was a very roller coaster VMAs. I had ups and downs. I know the Katy Perry fans were happy with Roar. I, I just personally, like, my, my, uh, my Fs are at zero for Katy Perry, personally, but I know that a lot of people like that song, so... I'm sure they were happy to have it performed. You know what the real question is? By next VMAs, will Taylor have another new single? You know, if she's on schedule, it will have literally just come out. I don't know if you guys saw what she said on the red carpet, but she said that, like, she's kind of been writing, she's always writing, but she's about to yeah. go in the studio so and it's going to get studio. really intense. Mm, I'm I so am... excited. Oh my gosh, I, like, almost peed. <laughs> I was having problems. I was like, oh my god! Oh my god! This album. I know we've had this discussion funny. already, our early speculations on is what it... her album could be like, but I just know it's going to be completely mind-blowing. Is it weird? I had a dream about the fifth album last night. It was very strange. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember there was a... Whatever it was, somebody told me the name of it, and I was so excited. Can I say one thing about I Knew You Were Trouble? It is not about Harry Styles. Thank you. Sit down <laughs> oh my sit God. your butt down yeah, oh that drove ones. me crazy tonight see that's why it's like sort too. of a good thing and a bad thing that taylor never officially says who any song was about because obviously if she said who it was about we would never hear the end of it but when she doesn't people can just make up whatever but i mean come on she wrote that before any of this went down at all so sit down like <laughs> the camera panned to harry too like right after that speech Oh, and yeah. um, he just kind of like stared at the camera, like, "What? Like, why? Are you, why are you still on?" Like, why are you looking at me? Like, this is this is this is not my moment here. That's not going to come till next album. Yeah, really. I'm still waiting for my punishment. I'm so ready for that song. Oh, I just hope it's called "Not My Style." <laughs> uh, I'm cheating. That's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll have to wait and see what uh, what Taylor has in store for that. But I knew you were trouble is obviously not about Harry. If I see one more person saying that, I don't know what I'm going to do, but insert some random silly threat here. <laughs> Selena won. What did she win? Video of she the summer? She's so adorable. Um, I think it was that. And she she is so cute. Yeah. Like, she was adorable tonight. And Taylor definitely had some dance moves on. Oh, yes, she sure Those did, yeah, especially during Taylor's NSYNC. Were... Oh, yeah, God, Taylor was NSYNC. fangirling so hard over did NSYNC. You... <laughs> did you see that picture that they grabbed um, of her, like, covering her mouth, just being really, uh, like, really totally awestruck? Totally fangirling. NSYNC. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. She's like, oh, my God, it's NSYNC! I love that she's, like, one of the most famous artists on the planet at this moment, and she's still fangirls like that <laughs> over others. That's what makes her so adorable. Well, we'd love to hear from you guys what your favorite performances were and what you thought and who you thought was best dressed and anything. Absolutely. Uh, Email us, tweet us, Facebook us, Taylor Connect us, tumble us. Is that a word? Tumble? It is now. Tumble? Okay, you can tumble me? Okay. (laughs) Tumble us. I mean, tumble's a word anyway, but... (laughs) No, I know, but I meant, like, in that context. Tumble us. Let us know what you think. We want to kind of have a quick follow-up on the VMAs on our next uh, episode with you guys, our listeners' opinions and thoughts and everything. So definitely let us know. So earlier tonight, we also recorded episode 20 of SwiftCast, so be sure and go and download that, too. We have uh, some interesting thoughts and opinions to share on that as well. Uh, we recorded that right before the VMAs, but it's probably going to be out a little bit after that. So <laughs> definitely make sure that you go check on that. Um, 
If you want to get our episodes without having to like go and download them, hit subscribe on our iTunes page, and then whenever we post a new episode, it'll automatically download for you. So it makes your life easier. Yay. I guess that wraps up our uh, initial VMA reactions. Once we have some time to like let it raw, you know, let it cook or whatever, or our thoughts and ideas, we'll probably have some more organized things to say in the next episode. But this is like our initial reaction, <laughs> you know. So it's kind of all over the Very place, fresh. bouncy, crazy. You know, it's like it's like spaghetti before it's cooked and it doesn't stick to the wall when you throw it, and yeah, like that. Sure, that's what it's like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it, 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 it worked in my head, okay? It kind of works, okay. yeah. I like these things that you come up with. They're actually really funny to me, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, we will talk to you guys all next episode, and uh, have an awesome night, VMA party. Peace out, Swift Scouts. Bye. Bye. We are in no way directly affiliated with Taylor Swift. <laughs>